Tussock moths and their caterpillars are pests typically found in wooded areas, but they're becoming an increasing problem in urban and suburban gardens and landscapes. The caterpillars will easily strip down and defoliate entire shrubs, while the adult moths will reproduce and lay eggs in batches of over 100 each. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and get rid of tussock moth caterpillars so your property will stay safe and green. You can save on pest control with DIY products and do it fast with free same-day shipping with Solutions Pest and Lawn. To buy the products featured in this video or to learn more about tussock moths, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. Tussock moth caterpillars are a major pest in the United States, known for defoliating thousands of acres of forest in the past. Tussock moths are easiest to identify as caterpillars. As adults, they look like many other moth species with various brown markings and patterns. Male moths have long wings and are capable of flight, while female moths have shorter, stumpier wings, rendering them incapable of flying. As caterpillars, they have a very distinct look that distinguishes them from other caterpillars. Tussock moth caterpillars hatch as tiny worms, which then grow to be one and a half inches in length once they're fully matured. Tussock moth caterpillars are covered in bristly hairs, giving them their unique look. Color patterns vary depending on the exact species of moth, but colors generally include yellow, orange, black, and red. Among prominent tussock moth species in the US, most feature two clumps of hair that jut out from the head end, looking like antennae, one clump of hair jutting from the rear, looking like a tail, and four dense tufts, or tussocks, of fur along the caterpillar's back. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hotspots of activity. Tussock moths are usually found in forest areas, but due to migration, unintentional transportation, or the occasional wind-blown caterpillar, their activity is increasing in gardens, shrubs, and trees in residential and commercial areas. Because the caterpillars are constantly feeding, these pests are responsible for defoliating entire trees and shrubs. If you suspect tussock moth activity on your property, check your gardens and shrubbery for adults or caterpillars. Be sure to also check underneath leaves and structures for signs of activity or cocoons. You'll find these pests in certain stages of their life cycles depending on the time of year you're inspecting for them. Tussock moth caterpillars hatch from eggs in late winter or early spring. They'll feed for four to six weeks, then they'll spin themselves into cocoons and pupate for about two more weeks. By April or May, adults will start to emerge, mate, and lay eggs on their cocoons. The adults will die shortly after mating or laying eggs. Depending on the species, the new generation will either hatch within several weeks, or the eggs will overwinter until next spring. Be careful to not come in direct physical contact with any caterpillars, as the hairs are known to cause irritation, and some people may have severe allergic reactions. After identifying your pests and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE. And remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. To get rid of tussock moths and their caterpillars, you'll need to use an insecticide with long-term residual protection, like a liquid concentrate made with the active ingredient bifenthrin. The bifenthrin will work to kill pests it comes in contact with, and will also leave a residual that will continue to control the area for labeled pests. With our concentrate made with 7.9% bifenthrin, we recommend you use 0.25 fluid ounces of product per 1 gallon of spray solution. We also recommend you use this product in a 1 or 1.5 1 gallon handheld sprayer to make mixing and application quick and easy. To mix, fill your pump sprayer with half a gallon of water and add your measured amount of insecticide concentrate. Add the rest of the water up to the 1 gallon line. Close the sprayer and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump the sprayer a few times to produce a low pressure spray. Apply your insecticide solution to shrubbery and ornamental plants where you've seen tussock moths or their caterpillars. Be sure to spray underneath the leaves as well and the sides of tree trunks. Moths or caterpillars that come in contact with the spray or residual will become paralyzed and die within a few hours. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you've applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen. Once you've treated tussock moths for the season, you shouldn't have many encounters with them for the remainder of the year. You will still need to keep an eye out and monitor closely for any activity later in the season and next spring when the next generation would be active. Be sure to retreat your shrubs every 90 days for year-round pest control. If you spot any cocoons with developing moths, those may not be affected by your pesticide treatments. They can be easily removed with tweezers. 
In high populations, tussock moth caterpillars are capable of defoliating entire trees and shrubs. But there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop tussock moth caterpillars from devouring your plants, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos. And contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.